Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, August 11, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 20, reading from verse 29 to 34. And it says, And as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside, when they heard that Jesus passed by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And the multitude rebuked them, because they should hold their peace. But they cried the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And Jesus stood still, and called them, and said, What will ye that I do unto you? They say unto him, Lord, that our eyes may be open. So Jesus had compassion on them, and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. Amen. What a word this morning. We give God thanks for his word this morning. And from what we can gather from this reading this morning, is that Jesus, after he left Jericho, right, he was in a region and he was passing by two blind men, right? And they heard that Jesus was passing by where they were. And so they began to cry out unto him because these men, as I said, they were blind. And I, so I imagine that they might have been in a difficult position because maybe it would have been difficult for them to to find food and stuff like that to properly take care of themselves and we don't know whether or not they had anyone taking care of them but regardless of all that the point is that they had a need and they heard that Jesus the healer was passing and so they cried out to Jesus and asked him that he would heal them but unfortunately there were those in the crowd who felt like they should not have said anything, that they should keep quiet. But you see, we have a God that he doesn't show partiality. He doesn't care for some and reject some. And God hears the cry of all people. And especially those who seek after him with, with earnest desire, God runs to their rescue. And so these men, they cried out even more when the folks told them to shut up or to keep quiet and Jesus heard their cry and he stopped and he asked them the question what is it that you would like me to do for you and so they responded as the reading state that they asked that Jesus would restore their sight and so he did and when their sight was restored they decided that they were going to follow Jesus now let us take a page from this situation because we live in a world today where sometimes we as Christians show partiality to others and it's very unfortunate because we believe just like these folks that were with Jesus that those who cry out for Jesus they have no right to do so and so they should keep silent but as I recall in the scripture, and especially in John 3.16, that famous verse, it says that for God so loved the world that he sent his only son to die, not just for one person, but for the world. And so Jesus coming here to this earth, he came to what? Save lives. And so when folks are crying out for the Lord, when folks are giving their praise to God, when folks are, they pledge their allegiance to God and they are giving Him their all, when they are crying out for His attention, we must never discourage them in any way. In fact, we should encourage them even more that they would continue to cry out to God. And in extension, we are God right on on this earth so to speak so we are his helpmate we are his assistance whatever term you want to use we are here 
to work in harmony with God. And so we must be looking out for those who are in need. We must be helping those who need our help. So it's not just about giving, you know, to those who we are acquainted with, but we must bless everyone as best as possible where we can. So, in other words, we must show love, kindness towards all people. There should be no partiality be given or be identified amongst God people because God doesn't keep favorites. As far as God is concerned, we are all his children and he loves us equally. And so this morning, I want us to understand that God, he wants us to, to, to emulate his behavior or his principles. He wants us to practice what is written in the word of God. And in extension to all that, I want to encourage someone today that don't let anyone silence your voice. Cry out to God. If they tell you to shut up, cry out even more because God is here for you. So don't pay attention to the noise around you. Don't be distracted by those who want to tear you down and preventing you from claiming your blessing. Because what if these men, after being told to keep quiet, kept quiet? They would have not received their sight. And so you can't afford for others to, to prevent you for, from claiming your blessing. You can't afford that. Because if you do that, it will be your fault. It will be your fault. And the reason, and the reason why it would be your fault is because what? No one has the right to silence you. No one. And if you need God, if you need help, if you need him to respond to your need, you got to let him know that you need him. What if the woman with the issue of blood did not push through the crowd? What if she decided to stop because the crowd was too much and she couldn't get to Jesus? Would she have been healed? Certainly not. What if the Harris did decide that, okay, because of who I am, I am afraid to go to Jesus, and so, you know, I am not going to go. Or whatever reason that may have discouraged him. If, you understand? If he did not go to Jesus, would his daughter be risen again? And there are several scenarios and stories that show that we cannot allow others to stand in our way and if we are desperate enough or if we need the thing enough we will push forward no matter the obstacles that stand before us and so my encouragement to all of us this morning is that no matter what or who is standing in your way don't allow them to steal your blessing don't allow them to steal your joy because God, if you do not cry out for the help that you need, he's going to pass you by. Not because he's not willing to help you, but because you choose to keep silent. And as the songwriter say, pass me not, O gentle Savior, but hear my humble cry. May God continue to bless us and may God continue to keep us as we continue to cry out to him who is the author and the finisher of our faith. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.